going along um, Mama and Oppie's life, um, they, as you've seen, have been loved and have loved lots of different people. And since all their boys have left home and got married and had offspring, they've made a whole new set of friends as empty nesters, as people, just them at home. So we'd like to invite um, Richard, who's been their cell group leader, their small group leader, for a number of years now, to talk about them and the things that they've done together. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Jan and Oppie, um, Richard and Denise had to go away um, about half an hour ago, and they've asked me to stand in on their behalf. How good. Um, <laughs> seems like only an hour ago I was teasing Richard about did he feel nervous about getting up here? Did he have a frog in his throat? Would he remember the words? It would have helped, I think, if he'd given me his reading glasses, but I'm sure we'll manage. But before I start the, uh, the little speech he's prepared, can I just say this, Jan? What a knockout! I'm looking at those photographs of you in London. They must have wondered what on earth had hit them. You are stunning! Oppie, okay, you're a very lucky man. I know. <laughs> Now, as I say, I'm standing in on behalf of uh, Richard van der Hoek, another one of those Dutch people, <coughs> and, or Dutch ancestry, I should say. Um, for those of you who don't know Richard, he's not at all like me. He's a bit wider, he's a bit taller, and he's quite a bit younger. But anyway, for the next three minutes, I'd like you to imagine that I'm, I'm Richard. So this is, this is what he wants you to hear. In August 2002, Denise and I started a home group as part of the River City Christian Church in New Farm. A few days before the first meeting, I received a phone call from a man with a thick Dutch accent, asking if this was the home group with the Dutch name. It was Ampi, of course. I think he was possibly expecting a home group leader who could converse in Dutch. It wasn't meant to be, because even though I have a Dutch surname, I do not speak Dutch. From our weekly meetings, the home group began a journey where people from various backgrounds and walks of life entered our home and our lives merged together. A large part of that success in binding us together was due to the love and faithfulness that Jan and Oppie brought to the group. Jan has been an inspiration to all members of the group. She is like a lighthouse on a firm foundation, beaming a light of hope and wisdom to those around her who are stumbling in the darkness. Jan is also a regular and powerful prayer and has been instrumental in the miracles that we have seen in our group. Happy has been a great mate to us guys, but just don't let him hug you, he disappear. <laughs> So, Abby, um, you're always ready with a hug and uh, lots of encouragement. We appreciate that. He also showed us how to be a good husband and a good father. We are constantly amazed at their generosity to others. This covers many things, and I'm sure that all of you present today and many others have experienced that generosity. Even with all the issues they are dealing with now, Jan and Uppy are still giving to others. At our many home group potluck dinners, we can always rely on Uppy to provide a good drop of wine and Jan to bring something special for us to eat. When Denise and I first met Jan and Uppy, we had been married for six years. Through their example as a couple uh, connected to each other, their marriage has been an example to us. We love watching them relate to each other. We have appreciated being included in their family life. Personally, we appreciate the mentoring that we have received from our relationship with them, and also the spiritual guidance that has helped us to grow. We thank them for their friendship and the joy they have brought into our lives. The wisdom they shared 
and for sowing the seed within us that will be with us forever. Jan and Abby, God bless you both. And that's what uh, Richard wanted to say, but now I've got my chance. When you told me you were having this celebration, I thought, wouldn't it be fantastic to be able to get up here and say a few words? But and I'm sure everybody else in this room would like to do the same, but we can't all do that. There's not enough time. So I'm just going to be very quick. My wife is called Lisa, and Jan, you have been a lighthouse to Lisa and I. You really have. We are privileged to know you, and we are so grateful that you have been in our lives. And Oppie, you're a great fishing buddy. I just don't like standing next to you too often. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.